the national anthem after Greg does the prayer. So if we can get everyone to come up, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Come on, everybody, gather up here. Everybody, my name is Greg Hanna. Now I'm going to pray here in a minute. Lord, I honor you and praise you for to be able to stand on our capital steps and honor you, Father God. I pray for our event. I pray for everybody here. I pray for our state. I pray for our country. That you continue to move in all of our lives and bless our country and everything that we put our hands to. We honor you, Father. We pray for everybody here that you would bless them, put your hand on them, and let them have a great day. We honor you and praise you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Greg. Testing one, two, three. You should probably stand behind it, Ron, just so it doesn't okay. echo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, it's, I was going to say good morning, but I'll say good afternoon, everybody. We are blessed to live in this great country. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all around. that were going on in Hong Kong a few weeks ago. And in order for those protests to remain peaceful, they sang this song. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing is Lord of this place. Jesus is Lord of this place. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. 
Jesus is Lord of His place. Jesus is Lord over California. Amen. Well, I just want to give a big shout out. That was Ronald. This man is amazing. He took the time out of a busy week. He's got his mother out here, his father. Thank you very much for doing that. She turns 88 this next week. So let's just give everybody a, give a round of applause for these people. Wonderful people for coming out. Thank you very much. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of play it by ear here. We plan on being out here for the rest of the day. We've got the grounds until 4. So as we go throughout our day and more people come, we'll have speakers coming up to the front addressing what it is that they're here to just bring to the community and what they want to talk about and the things that they're going to offer. So just uh, listen to the music, network, talk to people, like-minded individuals, share ideas, and uh, have fun, guys. Thank you very much. Sacramento. I'm just going to keep this live stream going so you can see what we got going on here. Changing the way we're doing it. Changing it up. 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 Changing it up
a few organizations called, uh, the first one called the Informed Mama, where I talk about the safety and efficacy of vaccines. I also represent Latinos for Medical Freedom, which is an organization brought upon because our demographic is targeted for votes. Uh, so I want to talk to you guys about the bills that are coming up uh, in California. The first one we are fighting is SB 276, which is a bill that's going to put your children on databases. Uh, they want to track your kids. It's a bill to also uh, force vaccinate, even if your child has been vaccinated and is now vaccine injured. But what we're seeing here is a little bit different than what we've seen before. Lorena Gonzalez is chair of the committee that she's introducing this bill to, and the way that she reacted and the way that she acted as holding the chair was disgusting. We are facing, organiz or, or organizations are facing representatives who forgot who they work for. They forgot they are elected representatives. They forgot they can be voted out. So I'm here to kind of uh, embrace the Patriot organization because every single organization out there is connected. Every single one. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what you support. We're supporting freedom in the United States. That's, right now, that's in jeopardy. Who wants to have their children tracked not on a me. database that is not secure? Because schools are tracking. Schools are taking that information and giving it to public health. They're giving it to news stations. They're giving it to reporters. And it's not safe. Our children are not safe in the United States anymore. We're now facing, with this bill, if we do not vaccinate, CPS is gonna get involved. And we all know that CPS is a child trafficking organization. Any personal experience. Personal, personal experience. I mean, we've seen it. We see that, that CPS comes to your door and forces you to treat your children the way they think that you should be treating your children. Even if that means coming into your house and you have dirty clothes on the floor and then they want to take your kids away and put them with pedophiles. We're seeing it. We see it every single day. So I'm hoping that you guys come out and understand what SB 276 is. Lorena Gonzalez wants our Latino vote. They only want our Latino vote because they know that we saturate California. They tell us that it's okay to come here illegally. It's okay because we have all kinds of services for you as long as you comply. What is wrong with California right now? These representatives forgot who they work for. They forgot they are elected, and they forgot they can be taken out of those chairs. So we see SB 276, but SB 277 was the beginning of the downfall of medical freedom in California. They force vaccinate, even if you have vaccinated. I vaccinated my kids, and they still call me an anti-vaxxer. I vaccinated my children, and they got hurt, just like any other pharmaceutical industry product there is a risk. With there, when there is a risk, there must be a choice. So now we're facing Senator Pan, Lorena Gonzalez, and her husband, um, Nathan Fletcher, who get on social media and talk about their constituents in a disrespectful manner. 
they tell their constituents that they want to fight. Their family has asked us to fight Nathan Fletcher. Instead of having an actual conversation in California, our representatives now want to fight us. It's not the behavior that a elected rep should have. A seat that is a gift to them from the California voters. It's time to take California back. And the only way we can do that is by getting together. It doesn't matter which rally you go to because we're all connected in every single way. They want to take our kids and they want to take our Second Amendment. They want to take our ammo. They want background checks for ammo. Ooh. How are we going to protect our family if we don't have ammunition? How are we going to protect our family against representatives that are in full-blown tyranny? That's where we're at right now. We're in full-blown tyranny. We have them telling us we want forced medical procedures, but anybody else who comes from a different country, it's completely okay to not have vaccines. It's completely okay to not have your background checked. But our children are for sale to the pharmaceutical company. Our children have been for sale for a very, very long time, unfortunately. So if you guys want to get involved with Latinos for Medical Freedom, you do not have to be a Latino. The reason why we did it is because they want our vote. So now we got to play that card, too. <laughs> we got to let them know. You want our vote. You need to work with the families in California and restructure California because they have they have done away with the family unit. It takes two parents to work. It takes children being in public school. And now we have public school teaching our children sexual behavior. We have public school correlating with Planned Parenthood, standards. bringing them on campus to teach them about sex ed and tell them that it's okay to have abortions without parental consent. It's okay, you're gonna get HPV vaccine, that's completely okay without telling your parents. But what happens when something happens, when something goes wrong? We pay our kids insurance, but we're not allowed to look at their medical records. We pay our kids insurance, but we're not allowed to know if they have an abortion or if they have contraceptives or if they have the HPV vaccine. That's Bill AB 499 in California, Governor Brown signed. So I'm hoping that everybody gets involved with your children, understand what's happening in the school system because the school system is a number, public enemy number one at this point. They do not care about our kids. They do not care about the family unit. They want to take it away. They want to interfere. They want our children to lie to us. They want our children to believe what they say and don't believe what parents tell you. Don't trust your parents is the whole point of what the school districts are trying to do. Oh, yeah, AB 262 is also another bill in California that is uh, going to give the public health officer the ability to quarantine and detain anybody they see fit, anybody who they feel is a public threat. So in California, an outbreak is three or more, doesn't matter what it is. AB 262 is now in place to where they're gonna go after the homeless first, they're gonna go after people who've been in and out of jail second, and then they're gonna go after families. And in that bill, it says they can detain you until you either vaccinate or the 21 days after the last outbreak has occurred. It's crazy. Yeah. It's insane. We should not be having to fear our government. It should be the other way around. It's time to take our power back. It's time to show up to the hearings, even if it's not your hearings, let them know that we're watching that we're gonna to continue to show up and we're gonna to continue to speak out and we're gonna to continue to speak against tyrannical representatives who do not represent California. It's time to take it back. So I'm hoping you guys show up to our next rallies, our hearings, show up to any hearing to show these representatives that we are not gonna sit down and take it. We're gonna stand up for our rights and we're gonna take back this state and we're gonna take back our country because it's all over the place. I wanna tell Jeffrey thank you so much. Where is he? Right here. There you are. Thank you, Thank you for allowing me to speak. I know my, my speeches are really short because I have a really much your name. But thank you for putting this on. It's important everybody realizes we're all connected. It doesn't matter what movement you're from. Everybody wants freedom of choice. Everybody wants freedom because that's that is the basis of American soil, is freedom. Right. So thank you for putting this on, I appreciate it. And if anybody needs to reach me, you can go on to theinformedmama.org and you can email me and we can uh, get in touch and let you guys know what bills are in place. Thank, thank you. you, Denise.
That's Denise Marie, the informed mama. She's everywhere. This woman is incredibly active. If you don't see her at the Capitol, uh, I'd be surprised. You were probably not there because she's there every other day. She's making her trips from you know another, I'm not gonna give up your city, but she's driving from other cities, coming down to Sacramento, trying to help the cause. So it is important if you guys heard this woman speak and you want to know what's really going on within the communities. She's involved with a lot of these minority communities and we actually need to start having a dialogue. We need to start finding out what we have in common and that's why I think that these intricate pieces like Denise and her husband and her family and these people getting involved are so important. So uh, what we'll do now is I'm gonna figure out, you wanna come up and speak, Joe? Would you like to come up and give a few words or speak? Yes. You wanna wait, do your thing, come on up, handle business. You wanna wait till there's more people? Your choice, you can play it by ear. No power, wanna play it by ear? Come on up, Joe. Come now. You got Joseph Turner here. He's running Joseph for assembly. <laughs> He's the one up north. Um, yeah, give it up to the gentleman. He's trying to help this country out, trying to make things better. Uh, I know that him and his wife had been discussing leaving the state, but instead of leaving, they decided, decided to stay and fight. So if anything, it can be respectful. This man and his wife have decided to stick it out, not give up on our state, and fight for this great country and this state. So let's give it up for Joseph Turner, please. Everybody, my name is Joe Turner. I live up in the far north, the far northeast. That's uh, Assembly District 1 and encompasses seven entire counties and two slices of two other counties. So it's Lassen County, Modoc County, Plumas County, Sierra County, Nevada County, Siskiyou County, Shasta County, a portion of Butte, and a portion of Placer County. And the main reason why I decided to run is something like Assembly Bill 329. And for anybody who's not familiar with that, that's the transgender indoctrination of little children. And I say this over and over every time I speak, I bring up suicide induction. And for anybody who doesn't know what suicide induction is, the suicide induction is early childhood suicide prevention education. It's a concept that is foreign to little children. And when you Sorry introduce that, it, they start killing themselves because they don't understand it. They have not developed the mental faculties to comprehend the seriousness or the danger of it. And that's the exact same thing that's gonna be happening with the with the multiple gender identities. As far as people who are grown up making grown up decisions, if that if that's the choice that they have that makes them happy, God bless them. But leave it out of little kids who do not have a concept of what they want to be for Halloween, let alone what they want for Christmas or what they want to be when they grow up. They cannot make that decision. They're incapable of it. And it is child abuse to push them into that. And so that's one of the biggest things. We have a little girl, she's turning seven this next month. And my wife did say that she wanted to leave and I told her this is coming up, the seat's gonna be available, let me try. And a little bit about me, I'm a disabled combat veteran. I spent 17 years enlisted in the California Army National Guard. 14 thank of it you. were on, thank you. 14 of it were on active duty. I, I've gotten to go around the world a little bit. I got to spend a year in Egypt, a few weeks in Ukraine, nine months in Afghanistan. Uh, my injuries have caught up with me. I do know for a fact that I have one vaccine reaction that's gone on for about 15 years when I got my smallpox vaccine when I deployed to Egypt. So it hasn't been that bad, but it's I know it exists. I've also had the anthrax vaccines, and I've also had a lot of issues after the I didn't know the they fact, had an anthrax I, fancy of course, the vaccine. VA says, here's an arthritis writing. Just go on your way. So what I really want to do I want to take a very, very aggressive approach, and I want elected representatives and governing bodies around the state to take the same approach and join onto it. And it can actually happen in other states too. So the basic idea is what you need is you need to piggyback onto lawsuits that are going on. We have organizations all over, Gun Owners of America, NRA, SERPA, Howard Jarvis Association, all those organizations are constantly suing the state or suing the federal government. The problem is, is they get stalled in court, in part because they're not getting bolstered. And when I say they need to be bolstered, they need governing bodies and elected representatives to find ways to get on as plaintiffs. Because who's the, who are the courts gonna listen to more? Are they gonna listen to just a, a schlub like me, Joe Turner? If I sue, if I say I have this harm, this is my stand, they'll say, yeah, but whatever, you're nobody. 
if I sign on as a, if I'm assemblyman Joe Turner, then the courts will be like, oh, hey, look, you're somebody. So, and that doesn't make me special. It just means that that position is is treated in a special, particular manner from the courts. That can be repeated throughout the union. And I want to see the union get involved and put California in its place. This place is an oligarchy. We have 120 representatives for 40 million people. You can't have that type of representation. It's not representation. It's an oligarchy. It is tyrannical. They don't care. We're irrelevant to them. They're bought and paid for their little special interests, everything. The union has to put California back in its place. Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution guarantees every state in the union a Republican form of government. 120 legislators is not a Republican form of government. It's an oligarchy. This government needs to be broken by the union and fixed by the union, along with every other state government that's following similar paths. And that's what I want to try to do. I want to try to put out a call to arms throughout the union to get everybody involved in these types of things. I want California to be the premier battleground of the state, premier battleground in the union. And what that means is you think about it like Iraq and Afghanistan. We spent a lot of money to keep the wars over there. Well, 49 states need to spend a lot of money to keep the war here in California to keep up the Marxist proletariat revolution. Uh, revolution from spreading throughout the union that's what everybody needs to do that's what i want to try to be a part of and i really want to try to see the republic be fixed because it's impossible you're never going to get these people to agree they're never going to concede power willingly that doesn't matter how nice we are it doesn't matter how coordinated we are you can only take it back by force via violence which is not what i'm advocating for or the force of the courts and what the courts is they're not going to fix it completely, but they're going to start a process. And they're going to force them into a situation where they have to make some form of a remedy. And that's where we need to start, and that's where we need to put our power in, because then we can start ousting all of these incumbents, increase our representation, and actually start changing the system within. Because the rules are broken, they're rigged, they're meant to suppress us and make us serve. And I really appreciate your time. And Trevor, thank you very much for hosting us, and thank you for allowing me to speak. I appreciate it. Mr. Turner, thank you for your service. Thank you for what you do. Uh, we're going to continue to move forward. Uh, I'm going to talk to my next speakers. We'll give it a second. Let a few more people arrive. I'm going to talk to a few more people, see where they are, play the music again. We'll start it going. And I'm going to make sure we stay on track. I'm going to see who wants to speak next. And uh, we'll just keep going, guys. Just keep networking and talking and being happy. You guys want to go take a bathroom break? Starbucks has obviously got a wide open bathroom. Feel free to use their floor if you choose, because you know we all love Starbucks so much. Doesn't matter which one you choose. Yeah, do not buy anything though at Starbucks, please. Just ask for their straws and then throw them on the floor. Ask them which bathrooms for the men's. Uh, but uh, thank you guys very much for listening in, and we're gonna play some more good music, guys. Here we go. <laughs> on this day is really bad same recurring dream he wakes up he's sweating he doesn't know what the hell to do he decides to help his friend at her coffee shop so his PTSD doesn't really affect him his mind's busy because he has to pick up his kids for this guy he retired to be a dad so to have some mental issue threatening his freedom he decided to stay busy 
Well, that didn't work so well. So I talk about the first time I ever got 5150. I talk about the first time that they 5250 me without my Ooh, there's a second approval. Level? Said, no, you're staying. You were like, literally, you're off your rocker. You're staying for a while. So I did another 45 days. And I talk about the process and everything that worked for me at the VA. And I talk about everything that didn't, which is about... 75% of it the first time around because you're not touching a beat. It took me getting re-engaged and you know finding the proper mental health medications, which wound up being absolutely none until I found medical marijuana. There you go. Yeah. Which took me from a 10 to a two. I'm nicer and I don't cuss as much. You know, my unit doesn't even remember who I am because of not every other word's the F word. <laughs> but, you know, it it's a different life now. So what we have to do as veterans or retired private contractors like myself, we, like, seriously need to just breathe and find just that little mustard seed of faith in order to get through the next day. Because I'm not trying to get anybody to last the next two years, five years, or ten years. I want you to pick up my book and just get through the day. Then tomorrow when you wake up, I want you to get through the next day. I don't care about what your plans are for five years from As somebody that struggles from PTSD every single day, every single night, and I only sleep maybe four hours if I'm lucky. And that's usually because I've had to smoke a whole lot of weed to get me there after a flashback. That's when I sleep. And that's just the bitter reality of it. We live a different life. We need a new way to live rather than be angry. Because I was that angry, disgruntled veteran. I wore the veteran shirts. I wore only there, black. I, I, you know, I wore cargo pants. I was that veteran. I wore the cargo pants with too much crap in it because I got my knife here. I got my flashlight over here. I got two different cell phones for each company. Then I got my kid's cell phone down here. I got a diaper over here. That's what a veteran is. It's a big ball of anger and once we get out, we have no idea what to do. So with, through this book, I hope just to give just a little bit of hope and a little bit of faith to any veteran that just reads the first chapter. You know, I made sure that I, I, I kept it very basic. I didn't want to impress people that I got a master's and I could use big words and be like Stephen King. And no, your basic 03 Marine could read this book because guess what? That's what that's who wrote the damn thing. So I made it like me. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I just want you to have hope. I want people to feel just a little bit of hope to open their eyes to more than just calling themselves a veteran. I don't even call myself one. I don't like the label. Because then it's like, oh, well, then people give you special treatment. I didn't enlist <clears throat> for special treatment. I enlisted to escape abuse and to actually be a man and, and have a role model. I wanted a family. That's what I got. A lot of us, when we get out, we turn our back on our family. We turn our back on other veterans. We're angry. We don't socialize. Not the greatest socializer myself. I sat over there and then I bounced over there. I don't do a lot of people well. But for my veterans, I have no problem standing up here to say, reach out to a veteran. You know, get them the Bible. Get them one, a copy of my book. You know, you could download it off my site. It's AJ Parrish. Dot Google or who do you push to? GoDaddy. We just switched websites and we're trying to get our my main domain to GoDaddy now. So we have a temporary website. It's AJ Parish GoDaddy Sites.com. And then it'll switch over in the next week to just AJ Parish.com. Uh, you can hit our GoFundMe page. You can get on, get your, you know, if you lost a loved one to um, suicide and they were a veteran. There's a donation page to where we'll make donations to Weed for Warriors on their behalf and we'll put their name up on the Fallen Hero board. 
because even they need recognition. It doesn't matter about the act that took them out of our lives. It's the fact that we ignored them and didn't keep on them to get them the help they needed. Because every single veteran is a stubborn bastard. Every single person. Even the ones that were in the Air Force are stubborn as hell. <coughs> even Coasties are stubborn. But you got to be on them. You can't turn your back like I did. I've lost 10 of my own after I retired. I lost 32 while I was in. So we seriously need to do something. So if you could, go to the website, check out the GoFundMe so we can get these books into veteran hands and spread a little bit of hope and love because all, all the hate and the bullshit we have going on and, and literally everybody's just fighting. Everybody's mad. Everybody hates the other party. Like, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even want to be called a freaking Republican anymore. Because half the people in the party are being assholes and popping off at the other party and being assholes. The other party's being assholes, period, and they're just ignorant anyways, and they're yelling at the other party. Nobody's talking. There's no action going. This is the most action I've seen from anybody, you know, and that's thanks to you. We, there's no platform for people to really come out and talk about their differences. So until each party or whatever party gets off their ass, I'm not even going to be in one. I voted for Trump. I did. Yeah. No, don't clap. No, no you're clapping. We're clapping. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Marine. I will support my president because that's the oath I took when I joined at 18. So I'll do what I'm told because that's, as an American, that's what you do. I don't have to agree with them anymore to be like, oh, yeah, I'm still for Trump. No, I'm for America. Amen. And America wasn't founded on closing our borders. Yeah, we need borders. It keeps the assholes out. What about all the good people that need asylum? What about the good people that have been here for 30 years, working their ass off, make more money than I do? I just sit around and talk all day. They belong here too. If they're not, if they're not causing harm... The lifeboat is full right now, boss. We lost our 29 year First generation from Mexico. I disagree with that one comment. I'm sorry, man. Are you going to go pick vegetables? I don't I did, think so. I'm, yeah. I'll work That's all day day I'm white and I'll I pick vegetables day. in Salinas uh, and, so and Watsonville. Did so did I right there in San Jose too. And I'm an American citizen. So I was born here. There, there are the good and there's the bad. Yes, and I'm from a border town and there's a lot of bad going through Mexico. So I don't choose. doubt it. I know that for a fact. Thirty-five percent of the typhus terrorists that come into our in country right come now. from the border. CDC has confirmed typhus is an epidemic in, in LA right now. A hundred thousand people a month are leaving Los Angeles more than are going into Los Angeles. We're people not, are fleeing Los Angeles right now. We're not going to agree on everything. Dad came here in 1949 and 51. My mother, when it was real racism, on, never complained. They like came in the right name, so way. We're not going to agree on everything. I don't bother I get paid regardless of how this goes. Yeah. Okay. You'll You'll agree, agree. Like, so, I know we disagree. No, dude, I got the Constitution right here. Page 14, Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution. Dude. It says we have the right to a sovereign border. Here, this is so my... you're just wrong. I like your whole thing. I like your spiel. Here it is. You're wrong on that one. Well, unfortunately, uh, I'm human, so I know yeah. I'm a right. I'm wrong about a whole so bunch me, of stuff. Uh, and if that's something I'm wrong on, well, I guess there's bigger yeah, there things I can I, I can worry about. Yeah. If that's the one right thing left. I'm wrong on, you know. But typhus, typhoid, all these different diseases that they say are coming over here. It's like, guess what? We can fix that. We can't fix a hateful soul and stupidity. So, I'll end there before I get too heated.
because I do this for a living and I don't want to tear anybody up. Today. But thank you all. Look, just have a little bit of hope and love. And dude, like when, when Jesus said, I want you to love your neighbor, he didn't say, I want, to lo I want you to love your neighbor, but he's got to be white and rich and live in a certain house and this and that. You have to be an American. It's gotta be Roman. He didn't even say you gotta love Americans only either. No, he, he said love everybody. So think about how how you want to represent yourself. I know it. So you can tell everybody else that, not me. I'm from a border town. Well, my pen name may be uh, white sounding and Jewish, but I'm half Mexican. Well, and. I, I believe that everybody who does it right should stay here. Amen. That does it right. Amen. I if it's illegal, it's that. illegal. But you know what? That That's a whole different that's thing. Legal. I'm just saying stop hating fucking people. No, no oh, hating. Fuck. Stop hating. No hating. Just you know? do it the just right stop. way. It's a perfect time to yell. Open up the dialogue. Yeah. Yes, but thank you very much. <laughs> Check out the website, and I hope you uh, see you guys soon. Stop hating pedophiles. Okay, so that was AJ Parrish, he's our Christian author. Uh, Mr. Hanna, if you could come up and please give a speak and talk about uh, New California. Jeffrey, thank you. Hey everybody, that's a tough one to follow right there. We got a lot of people out here on the fringes, so if you want to come in close, can everybody hear me all right? Are we all here? Hold it close to your mouth. They're coming out here, they saved the best for last, it looks like here. And uh, <laughs> that was quite a heated exchange at the end right there. I, I can't I can't beat that. That's a thing of beauty. But uh, New California, I've been involved with just a short time. I'll just give you a little history of Greg. My wife's my hero. She's, she is a fighter. She doesn't give up. Her principles are ingrained in stone. She's... She is my hero. She's doing stuff that I can't do. I was telling one of the Proud Boys today, I go, dude, I'd be like you guys, I'd have to fight. You know, they're clocking people with chains and locks on them and hitting them with crowbars. And what do the police do? They stand back and don't arrest their rear end. I say put them in jail. But I'm not a cop. I told my wife I couldn't be a cop. I wouldn't miss. You know, I shot expert in the military. Thank God for that cat over there, man. He shot expert probably with an, a, a, an M16. Beautiful thing, M16. But I, I came here to talk about New State California, New California State. And the thing is, is New California is a been around, what, a year, year and a half? State of Jefferson, excuse the pun here, been going five years. So the courts are having a hard time with forming their state. I'm on their side, State of Jefferson. I like the state of Jefferson. We have a whole lot of things in common. We have guns, freedom, and what else do we have? We got a state running us friggin' into the ground. They're killing us with taxes. 58 cents for every gallon of gas tax. That's incredible. 58 cents. How many millions of dollars? If you, where's all the? The economists in the in the room. You multiply 5.58 times 75 million gallons a day. How much money are they collecting? The state's collecting a boatload of money, but yet they want to give it away to other people that aren't even here legally. And I, I have a problem with that. My wife's parents came here illegally. Came here very legally, and uh, it, it's awesome. Just come here the right way. That's all we ask. You know, I think about all the things going on in California. I started this venture uh, just a year ago, maybe, and, and I moved up here more because I love to fish. Hell yeah. I love to fish. You got lots of rivers and lots of lakes, and I moved up here from the Bay Area so I could fish more, and I fly fish, and I love it. But then I started looking around our country, our state, and everything is going down the tubes. The state is going down the tubes, America. Wake up out there. 
California's running us into the ground. You can hear me out there. They're running us in the ground via taxes. I know libertarians and Demo uh, Democrats and Republicans don't like taxes to the point where you've got to move out of the state. That's incredible we got to move out of the state. 650,000 people are leaving this state every year, and 100,000 are coming in. What's happening to our population, the middle, middle Americans are slowly going away. We're going to have the people that live on the street. We're going to have the fang stock people, Facebook. We're going to have Amazon, Netflix, Google executives at the top of the heap. And we're going to have people in the street. How's that going, Gavin, up there in San Francisco? How's that going, Gavin, in San Francisco? Let's think about that. San Francisco has... $10 million a year they're spending on needle exchanges. They're finding needles in the street. People are pooping in the street like it's a toilet. People can't even go there and enjoy themselves a meal in San Francisco anymore without somebody hanging a BA out in front of their restaurant. So, I mean, I, I started this because I love to fish and I started looking around going, man, our country's falling apart. Our monoparty system, that's what new California states is looking at forming a Republican form of government where we recognize Democrats, we recognize, we recognize conservatives, we, we recognize libertarians for what they believe in. They don't like taxes. Those people don't like taxes. Think about it. Libertarians, if you like taxes, I had a other guy the other day tell me, a police officer in, in El Dorado County, oh, I'm fine with the way the tax structure is right now, and I'm thinking, you're fine with the tax structure the way it is right now? Uh, come on, uh, let, me, let me slap myself a couple times to think about this, because that is just a phenomenal uh, statement. But you know, everybody has the right to their opinion. That's the freedom of America that we have. We have we the people, and that's where New California is going. It's going we the people. It's not meeple. It's we the people. That's my, my tag on uh, YouTube. I call myself deplorable meeple because it's about me on, on YouTube. But you know, if you think about New California, it, it's Paul Preston started it. And he's the president. And we're forming a government. And I was talking to a couple gentlemen today and, and young ladies out here about we're forming a government. That's incredible because the other organizations, they aren't forming a government. Are they forming a government? Think about it. They're just collecting money from people. And I wouldn't want to be at the top of the heap and give up that gravy train, but it, that's okay. We don't have any money at this point. We're working on the government, forming a government. We're putting together 50 counties right now that have representatives. They're forming a government so we can govern. We're proving to Congress that we can govern. We got people together as far as uh, chair people and assembly people and senators. We're putting it together so we can govern our state. We're proving to Gavin, see ya. We're gonna separate from Gavin. He, it's a monoparty system that's being represented only one form of government's being represented, and it's part near socialism. At the point where, if it isn't we the people, if we aren't doing it as we the people, then we need to check in our spirit. I love the guy talking about the Lord. The Lord's really important. First thing in our lives, Linda and I, family, faith, friends, it's important. Some of you folks have been to my house and enjoy it. God's given us that. God's blessed us and put, put his name on our lives. But it, without you folks out there, we're not going to be able to form a new government. We're not going to be able to do it. We need people to talk about it. I shared with a guy yesterday that had a uh, thing about the Second Amendment on his car. And, and I told him, look, you're in what county? He said, Solano. I go, call this person. Go to the website. If you haven't signed up already, then sign up Gina, Gina, uh, Jeannie on uh, NewCaliforniaState.com. Go there, sign up, be a part of it. That's what we're doing. We need all of you. We can't do it on our own. Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you.
that was too long. Thank you very much. Uh, Greg Hanna, thank you very much. So uh, again, yeah, we got Linda Martinez with Latinos for Trump, Greg with New California. She's working on the New California as well. Veronica, thank you so much for helping and getting Turning Point out here. That was amazing. Uh, next up we have, is it Don? Don with shop.com, shop.com. This is going to make it so you have responsible financial control of your shopping and you have time to do more things like hang out with your family. So listen to this gentleman and see if he can't save you some money. Hey, thank you so much for having me out here today. I totally appreciate it. And I just want to say something. We are all actually connected, but we're connected economically too. I don't know if you know that. And everything you do, everything you buy in your life, in your budget, all goes to somewhere. And it goes poof, gone out into the world. But we can all work together economically to create something whereby which we all benefit. And that's what we do is we help families um, kind of oh, do I'll more of a two or three year plan to financial independence instead of the 45 year plan. So what a lot of people don't realize is they're getting fooled in the sense that you spend 45 years of your life and you work, you go to and from work, back and forth, back and forth, and people are in a, a fog and they think that the government is going to actually take care of them when they turn 65. But we know that it's not going to be the case. We know that that's upside down. It's not going to happen. But neither is actually a corporation or a job going to take care of you. We want to work together as human beings in the economy to create our own economy and develop something that's going to help you do the things you love to do together. And that's pretty much our message. So if you want to hear more about what that means, come by and see us over here at the Shopping Annuity Table. Thank you so much. And I'm going to now introduce Katie Huntoon. Come on up, Katie. Katie specializes in health and wellness, so come talk. Woo! Go Katie! Hi. I'm Katie. I did not know that I was going to be speaking today. Yay. Now you know. Um, I am with Juice Plus and Tower Garden, and basically we provide simple oh, whole so food nutrition for anybody and everyone. So it's great for a pregnant mom with a baby to be born all the way up until if you're terminally ill. Um, it helps with, since a lot of you know, what a toxic environment. Unfortunately, no matter what we do to stay away from toxins, they're all around us. So it helps with building your immune system. It helps protect against oxidative stress. Um, and then with Tower Garden, it's um, an aeroponic growing system that you can grow from anywhere indoor and out it ends up paying for itself from the money that you save from conventional fruits and vegetables in the grocery store and yeah i think that is, is there a website that can find you yeah so um if you want to visit our table uh sydney and i have um personal websites this is sydney that you can visit um as far as different products that we have available and then we are also here to be able to answer any of your questions you can get the products directly through us one more thing i want to mention is we have an amazing uh, study called the children's health study within juice plus and basically what that means is the way that we give back so with any adult you can actually sponsor a child under the age of 18 for up to four years with whole food nutrition which is awesome we see kids with ADHD autism, behavioral issues, kids that don't want to like to eat fruits and vegetables, having really great results by getting that nutrient simply, their body ends up craving what they're getting. So yeah, come and say hi. That's true. That's true. Thank you ladies very much for coming out. I appreciate it. This is another one of those things that I was trying to bring to our community so we're more self-sufficient. If we can grow our own food and we can grow our own vegetables, that way you can control what is actually going into your body. A lot of people are up here complaining about vaccines being forced on you and you don't know what's in the vaccines. Well, the same thing is in the vaccines, it's in the foods and everything else, it's the glyphosates because all of the things going into your body is somewhere it's grown. So if we are having things come down from the sky up above or being put into the water that we're watering to our vegetables or these items that are being used to create the different things that we're eating and consuming, 
If you're not consuming healthy vegetables and healthy fruit every day, you're going to slowly build up a toxic um, amount of stuff in your body, and then you're going to reach a, a climax where it's going to add up and it's going to basically kill you. You'll die of some sort of poisoning or cancer with all the carcinogens. So uh, that tower is very important. I like that it's vertical too. Can I say, can I say one more thing? Go for it. So one more thing that I wanted to add is um, Juice Plus with the capsules and the gummies. We're NSF certified, which means we're third party tested for any contaminants. So there's no herbicides, pesticides, carcinogens, heavy metals, which is really important when you go to the grocery store. If you buy a protein powder, you have no idea what's in it. You're trusting what is on the label. And as I'm sure a lot of you know, natural doesn't have a lot of the meaning. So it's very important to become an informed consumer. And then with the tower garden, it is reduces the water by 98% and there's no need for pesticides and herbicides. Interesting. All of the food is not genetically modified. So you have the power to make your own, to grow your own food, even if all you have is the room that you see right there in the tower garden, whether that's on your patio, kitchen, garage, etc. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, see, that's fascinating. So now what we got to do is start utilizing our space. And so what it does is for people who live within this city and you're pressed for square feet, you know, and you don't necessarily have the best living conditions to grow outside, say you live in an apartment, you throw a little T5 above that thing and grow your plants just like you would anything else. And it looks like the water just drips down and it, and it takes care of itself. Because everybody knows what a T5 is. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess <laughs> T5's is uh, going to be a fluorescent light bulb. I apologize. Some sort of lighting above. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Um, other than that, I think we've pretty much everybody who's needed to say something has said something. I know that Peter Quo was supposed to come out here for the GOP. Uh, he's the VP of the gotta, GOP. Uh, I don't necessarily talk in front of support everything the GOP does or says, but we also just had an election that occurred this year. We have new representatives. So I think, if anything, it's fair for us to, instead of just being, I know we have a delegate, instead no, no, no. of just being angry, we need to express ourselves these people that are around. We've got Anthony in the room. He is a delegate here. Uh, we have other people. So I think instead of always just going online, again, I was trying to be solution-based. So I was trying to bring the person out that we actually feel is causing the problems or that we could complain to so that maybe they could go back to the GOP and let them know what it is. If you wanted me to for. say some stuff about the GOP, since Peter's not here, I can. Come on up, Anthony. All right. <laughs> He's a delegate. Here you go. He's a delegate with the GOP, guys. Anthony Macias. Here you go. Hello, my name's Anthony Macias. I'm actually running for state senate out in Santa Clara County. Um, first thing San Jose. Talk about a few initiatives I have going on. We're actually recruiting for a legal network. We're recruiting for a legal network. So if any of you are our attorneys or no attorneys, paralegals, people who can do legal work, we need your help because there are a lot of people who get arrested for coming to rallies and defending themselves from Antifa. A lot of people lose their jobs because Antifa docks them and it's actually illegal in California for your employer to fire you for your political views or affiliations. But a lot of people don't know that, so they just lose their jobs and make nothing of it. So if you either can help in that capacity or if you need help, we need you to send an email to invictuspa at protonmail.com. Also, if, you're, if you want to run for office, if you want to be a candidate, if you want to help fundraise, if you have technical skills, if you have anything to offer the concerted movement, you want to email all devour, that's all hyphen devour at photomail.com. Now about the California Republican Party. Right now, our state party is run by a woman named Jessica Patterson. She's our chairwoman. She's a never Trumper. And she she has her and her pony named Cynthia Bryant. Well they have set a standard saying that if you're a conservative, if you do anything that they think will make them look bad. If Antifa or the far left media have heard anything negative about you, they don't want you in the party because they think you make them look bad. They are trying to take this party, the cucks, the Democrat light party. Basically, what we have now are Democrats who are communists and they're trying to take over to be what the Democrats used to be before they went communist. We can't have that. So what I need you to go is call and email her office. Her name is Cynthia Bryant and tell her if you won't leave, you need to get out of the way. This is our party. We're proud to be conservative. We're not going to bow down to you because you're afraid that real men are going to stand up for themselves and it's going to make communists look bad. I don't think far left domestic terrorist Antifa should be the ones who get to decide who can be a delegate to our party. And if you agree with that, you need to get involved. Thank you.
again, I don't think that's something that any group that has a political message, left or right, really can argue about. It's clear as day. I mean, you see Jim Jordan, you see Ted Cruz putting together bills, basically, that are going to designate Antifa a domestic terrorist group. These groups are the same ones that the left and the news and the media are advocating for and saying what they're doing is respectable. We should look up to these people, be more like them, even donate these people money. When you hear CNN telling you that you should raise money for an Antifa group, and then not only three months, four months later, the guy was responsible for blowing up the ice, the, the car, and he was killed. This is the same group of people that our media is pushing and telling you every single day that you as a conservative, you're a Nazi, you're a fascist, when in reality, the only ones that are causing domestic terrorism, well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. There are people on the right and the left causing problems. But this is why this event is so important, because we need to come up with solutions. It's good that you're dropping websites. We have people providing food. We have people providing initiatives, bills, legislation, all the above. So, again, I don't know if you know me. You follow my page, The Prudent Patriot. I'm Jeffrey Eric. I know most of you heard many of my spiels, hour long. I'll save you guys the talk. But I just want to thank everybody who came out today and participated. Uh, I'm going to hang out on the grounds. I have the grounds for another hour. So if you feel like you'd like to be here, help me clean up, hand out some water, uh, ask some questions. The empathy tent is here. If anyone has some a debate, you'd like to have a debate and have somebody moderate or mediate and see what's going on and empathically listen, go and sit down and talk. Have a good peaceful dialogue. Utilize this man's tool. Uh, Edwin is here. He's very important to the community. He's going to help bridge this divide. We have to find a way to find common ground to talk. And that's again why this important is that you guys are all here. We're providing solutions and it doesn't matter if you're left or right. We all need to eat healthy food. We all need to have food. We all have kids. And we all want a lot of square feet in our house available, you know, so we can have furniture and things. So I thank you all for coming out. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for every single one of my people that set up a tent, boots on the ground, Sacramento's. We've got our Veterans Affiliate Council. We've got our Juice Plus, the shop.com. We've got our New California. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate you. We have Turning Point California, Turning Point. USA, we've got the Empathy Tent, we've got Joseph Turner over here running for assembly with his wonderful wife, Kara. They've been incredibly helpful. So again, on ending, thank you all very much. I'll let the music play until about four while we clean up. Uh, there's water and ice if you want them, so feel free to ask. Thank you all very much for coming out to Family, Faith, and Freedom. speech here and um, talked about our legal uh, network we got going on and talked about some of our projects we have as far as helping people with campaigns, helping people. I actually, I get a little fired up when I talk about these Antifa terrorists, so there are several things I forgot to mention. I'll mention with you. We, uh, part of our legal network, we're actually helping donate to people's commissaries as well. Like, for example, the Rise Above Movement, we help raise funds with our commissary. So even while they are in jail, we're helping. So yeah, if you're an attorney, if you're a paralegal, if you have any of those skills, if you have campaign skills, if you have tech skills, if you're a fundraiser, or if you're any of the, just someone who's a conservative needs help from the services we're providing, you can contact us at VictusPA at ProtonMail.com for legal concerns, for all of the concerns, all hyphen devour at ProtonMail.com. And remember, vote Macias Invictus and join the resistance. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
a lot of uh, businesses that operate from okay. the home, yeah. and they're, you know, and, and they're women. So I'm trying to promote the Got women it. entrepreneur. Yes. Uh, I had Latinos for Medical Freedom here, okay. which are basically trying to promote the freedom of medical choice. That's, that's my buddy over there, so don't mind him. <laughs> uh, are you a rock violinist? You I know, could like, be. If you point this thing with the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. He's so good. Can he play, walks uh, through the... Set Bay Area with his violin and start, start playing yeah. some of that Mexican La Bonita or something with it. That's cool. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, <laughs> some Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm super down to hang out, like I said, and just talk with you. And we can talk about it. Yeah, yeah. You can do an interview if you want. Do an interview. Right. That's, that's what we're doing here. here. Yeah. Um, Family. Family so I want you to be next to me, though. So, okay. okay. Well, so, oh, we're doing an interview. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Cool. Okay, I can edit it all. So wherever you want to do it, I'm moving around. If this, this is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's get the let's get this back. Nice yeah. background. You go by Jeff or Jeffrey? Whatever's easiest for you, sir. Okay, let me think about this. Um, and we're here with the Faith, 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 Family, and Faith, Freedom. Faith, Family, Faith, and Freedom. Take two, family, go. Faith, Freedom. Okay. All right. Lighting, uh, is, is that... You're good, yeah. Crazy you guys crazy. are both sexy and handsome. Go for it. <laughs> Maybe not in that order, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Peter Kuo. I'm so honored today to be with Jeffrey at, in front of the uh, west side of the Capitol step. <laughs> Again, this today is a very, very important day. Is is the Family, Faith, and Freedom rally right in front of the step of Sacramento. And I feel really, really important that me being here today because I'm an immigrant. I came to this country when I was 14 years old because my family was forced out by the Taiwanese government. I am really worried about this country, the steps that they're taking, especially in Congress, um, in terms of they are marching towards socialism. Again, we escaped socialism, many, many of us have escaped socialism to come to this, this amazing country that saved our families' lives. We can't afford to go back to socialism because socialism kills. And what's going on in Sacramento right now is the legislature inside are, are doing exactly that. They're taking our rights away, our rights of speech, our, our belief in the family, our belief in our God, and uh, the freedom is being taken away slowly, one piece at a time. So I'm here standing strong with Jeff to make sure that our future government has family, faith, and freedom in their mind on every law that they, do, that they, do, they legislate. So again, I would like to uh, play this song. This song is God Bless America. It is the most important song in my life just because Again, America saved my family's lives as we were fleeing persecution. And it's, it's the only way I know how to tell the American people that America is the most unique country in the world because it's been blessed, blessed by God. And if we don't have faith in God, if we don't have faith in our family, if we don't have faith in freedom, understanding how precious it is, it could be all gone away very, very soon. So. Um, as a vice chair of the California Republican Party, I strongly encourage everybody: don't give up. Although it, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't. It actually looks terrible in the last uh, few years for for California Republicans. In fact, 30 years, the Democrats have control of this house, and they are coming with crazy laws that is taking our freedom, family, and faith away. So that, let's not do that. Okay. So that's that's win this fight. And, and continue to make sure that we, as people, stand up to our values, stand up to our families, stand up to the rights of our freedom. Thank you. God bless America. Thank you, Peter. And God bless California. Beautiful. God bless America. And God bless President Trump. Hey. <laughs>
Thank you, Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thank you, you, you for that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thank you for putting this together. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. It means a lot that you came out here. I know it was a long drive, so thank you very much for coming yeah. and fulfilling your promise. I know, <laughs> you know, you said you would, and I'm glad you did. Yeah, it's, no, it's important. I mean, I, I just can tell you how, how I'm wa watching this country marching towards socialism. It's almost like they're marching toward a cliff and don't even know it. That's well, how really crazy it this is. This continent doesn't know it, and that's yeah. why they've Half of them are indoctrinated, the other have an agenda. Yeah. Well, the history is removed, too. You know, if you don't... They're trying to erase the history. The fact that yeah. Mao and all ignorant. these people in the past have killed millions of millions. people with starvation. Absolutely. Crop, you know, they've it's, taken away the ability to manage your food, and then people they, starve. They do it in the logs. name of equality. Right. And, and I, I just couldn't disagree with more. I mean, wealth redistribution, I mean, is that you're yeah. literally taking someone's money that they've worked for yeah. generations to create. Just property, the I, right to property. I saw a good example of it mm -hmm. where it said in, uh, sh three people of different heights trying to look over a fence and it says socialism yeah, in yeah. perspective yes. and they're giving a boost, the shorter people a boost and it says socialism yeah. in reality exactly. and it just cuts the shorter people off. We, we gotta cuts get their that legs off. Out. We gotta keep fighting. Go, that was a good up. one. All right. Uh, Thanks, all right. Everybody. It was nice to meet you. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Oh. Thank right. you. I hope to see you again and play another one. Thank you. All right. You ready?